Hey girls, I just wanted to do a video for you. I realized at the end of class, I don't always go over the hand positions because they're in the book, but I didn't t um, make an emphasis on the different hand positions um, for your daily practice. So I just wanted to do a really quick thing for you. Um, I found my pendulum, remember I couldn't find it. Um, I just wanna let you guys know that you're all amazing and I had such a great time this weekend. I wish we would have had more time, but that's what Reiki 2 is for. Um, I hope you got the basic idea of the difference between your spirit's qualities and your ego's qualities and where you can find aspects of yourself in other people and help yourself grow. So remember during your cleanse, this is your 21 days to cleanse. If you're not coming back to Reiki 2, still do the 21 day cleanse. Um, because this is your time to get to know energy, get to know when someone else's energy is in your field, get to know when it's your energy, and get to know when you're getting irritated by something that may not even be why the person is doing that, and use that as an opportunity within yourself to grow. Kind of like the example of when Scott in class said that he gets annoyed when people whistle, and he says it's because they do it for attention. I think people whistle because they're happy. Other people say may say they whistle because they're good at it, or you know, whatever. So when you start to get irritated with something, ask yourself, just kind of tune in and ask yourself, where in my body is this? And it's gonna be in one of your chakras. It'll end up in one of your chakras. And, you know, just make note of it. Um, you know, it really bothered me and I felt like it was down in my solar plexus. I felt very drawn to my um, ab ab abdominal area. You can ask Reiki Go and ask Reiki, the quantum Reiki from above to come down and fill that area with light and remove that irritation or remove that feeling. And what that's doing on a quantum level is it's changing the beliefs removing the beliefs, replacing them with something else. It's cutting cords maybe to somebody that used to whistle for attention when you were in school and maybe you were jealous because they got more attention than you. So now your brain has read that as when people whistle, they do it for attention. But I mean, little tiny things like that can really, 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 really like ruin our day because we could be seeing someone doing that at the gym and all of a sudden it triggers us and then it ruins, it gets us in a low vibration. Now we're a low vibration and because we're healers, because we're intuitives, mediums, channels, we're attracting energy from these lower planes down here and then we're going home, we're taking out on our family, our spouses, our kids. I mean, sometimes legitimately people are just straight up annoying, you know, but if you, honestly, if you're annoyed by something, there's something at the root and when we go into Reiki 2, I teach you guys how to do kind of like Reiki readings. So it's learning how to kind of read within the chakras for why that's there. The the third chakra is like your identity of who you are. So, you know, maybe Scott, sorry, Scott, I'm picking on you, but that's the only example I could remember from classes. Um, is your identity of who you are. Maybe you want to be seen for who you are, but you're not seen for who you are. So other people who are whistling for attention are getting attention for who they are and blah, 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 blah. So I'm sure all of you girls can think of ideas. You wrote down your examples and um, of the things that you liked and didn't like and just be aware of them over these next 21 days. Drink your half of your body weight in ounces in water. If you weigh 100 pounds, drink 50 ounces a day. Um, if you do the oils, add a little bit of lemon if you want or just take the capsule of the lemon and the grapefruit and that helps to clear out your emotional body. So that's the layer right here. We do not get into all the layers of the aura. There's 12 layers of the of the energy field and we get into that in Reiki 2 and Reiki Master a little bit more um, and how to clear out all those layers and read what's in there and blah, 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 all that stuff. So this class was more just for self-help type stuff. It's like learning who you are. You can't be an accurate medium or a psychic or an intuitive or even, I mean, you can be a healer. You can be a good healer, but what's going to happen is you're going to start projecting your own stuff onto people. You're going to be one of those people that I'm sure everyone's gone to that's told you your worst fear is what you're, what's going to be your future. It's because they're reading their own energy and their, their own fears and they're projecting them onto you because they don't know the difference between their energy and your energy. So the first step is the connection with your higher self that we got this weekend, the connection with those upper dimensional selves, the understanding of what those are up there and bringing that information in and learning how to kind of channel that information through you. The attunement to Reiki is really what you're paying for is the attunement because most classes are not a class and an attunement. It's just an attunement and here's a book and be on your way and here's another class for 400 on crystals and here's another one for this on oils and here's one for this on chakras. So I try and give you as much information to kind of like gnaw on for those 21 days as possible um, so that you can have stuff to do while during these 21 days. 
Remember, if you want to pick a card each morning, go get some angel cards. Remember to imagine that the cards, here's my hard drive. Let's pretend like the hard drive is an empty box. Okay, so this is an empty box in my mind. We're using the law of correspondence here. So this is as above, so below. So if I'm tuned in to my higher self and I'm running Reiki, I'm tuned into my quantum self, which is as above then so below would be here in the matrix of the third dimension. So in your mind, you're imagining that this, the angel cards are a box and your mind is reading the energy on this, but it's showing it to you as a box. So you may see a box with, I see a box with a bat in it for some reason. And I see a box with some goop hanging off it. So obviously my hard drives energy is not clear. So I'm going to say Reiki go. I'm going to see the Reiki coming down through my head out my hands, and then maybe even Reiki coming down from my Reiki portal down over my hard drive and um, in my mind, I'm seeing it going into the little box that I was imagining. So once the box is full, I literally in my imagination here's like a ding go off when it's done, but I mean, you can set it up however you want. Um, Cause remember I didn't see for like three years. And then when I started to see, I was like completely shocked at how inaccurate I was at what things really look like. But I was always accurate in my readings and when people were healed and when their chakras are balanced, because I set that communication up between me, my higher self, my conscious mind, my subconscious mind, my spirit, all of that. So anyways, so you run the energy through the cards, wait until they're full, and then just flip a card. Write in your journal for like 10 minutes, like we did at the beginning of class. Just what does this mean to me today? What does this mean to me? And just know that you're picking the card or a card will fly out that your higher self or your greater consciousness is wanting your conscious mind to read for that day. So it's bringing you in a message. Your angels are bringing in a message. Your guides are bringing in a message. And by you flipping that card, your mind is going like, oh, zip it for just long enough to kind of let messages in. So while you're reading those cards and you're writing, you're actually receiving messages from above. You think it's just your mind going, oh, I think this card means this and this means this, but it actually is your guides bringing in information. Your self-healing, what I didn't go over in class, would be your, um, you can make it 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour of actually running energy. And I want you to start getting used to that. I mean, just when you're bored watching TV, you can, in your mind, Reiki go, bring the Reiki in through your crown, out your hands. Like I said, do like the little Reiki ball, start to build up the chi, the energy. You can put the Reiki on you and just in your mind, remember if it's you're seeing light coming in your head and out your hands, even if you're not attuned to Reiki, you're going into an alpha brain wave. So this is more of a wave where you can receive healing on a cellular level. So sending energy to your heart, to your solar plexus, your knees, your feet, anywhere, just kind of practicing running the energy. Um, for, my, for the official sessions, for the self-healing sessions, <clears throat> You're going to want to start, I get the insight timer, the insight timer, I downloaded that, I set it for 30 minutes, for three minutes for each, um, each little, each chakra or whatever. So I start <clears throat> and I do this and I just imagine my higher self coming in and sometimes I'll start like rocking or moving, but you'll actually kind of feel energy, but I'll say Reiki go and I have Reiki coming in my head and out my hands. And I'm just running life force energy into these chakras. And this is calling my higher self in. When you feel like you're kind of like lodged in, I start my timer, maybe my music. You can get Spotify. There's Jonathan Goldman has some good Reiki chants. Um, a lot of his music is god awful. I can't even handle hearing some of it. It's like the holy harmony. It like really hurts my head. But his Reiki chants are awesome. And then he has some other stuff. But it's, it's really expensive if you buy on his website. But on Spotify, if you get a little... $4 membership, you get all free music. You can listen to his music and guided meditations and just tons and tons and tons of stuff that I use all the time. Um, and then also on the Google Drive, I have a lot of stuff too. Um, so if you're not on that, let me know and I'll add you to that because I've got like hundreds of meditations, audiobooks, um, different tools you can use in your development. So um, the first chakra is the top of your head. So you just sit there and you don't have to imagine a color, you don't have to imagine anything. Um, one thing that would help me is I would kind of imagine those things that used to pick up the water and, and, and there's water and it was like a wheel and it would pick up and, and send the water over and send the water over. I kind of, in my mind, because I couldn't see, would just kind of imagine, 
um, one of those things all like kind of like dry like you know I I'd go okay what does my wheel look like and I'd see that it had a little bit of water in it but it was kind of dry so I would start sending Reiki into my head and the longer my hands were here I would feel like the wheel would start spinning I would feel like the little things would start to get full and by the end usually my little water thing was full and it was spinning picking up water and turning around which I thought was kind of ironic because I think those things were used to to build electricity or something or to, to create um, generate electricity way back when I think but anyways that was kind of the visual I would use I mean some people I know have used like a merry-go-round or they'll actually imagine that they're in that chakra room that I take you into in meditation or you can just sit here and think about your bills and think about your life and think about the tire that you need changed and think about, you know, the irritating person at work. It doesn't matter. You're running the energy, but you're running it, Reiki go, through here, out your hands, into your crown. The next one is your third eye. So I do this, and this is the only one where I actually used to kind of like see stuff. I, I would start to see maybe like faces kind of going across, and that's, you're kind of seeing the lower astral plane. We get into that in mediumship. Um... But just kind of sit there. You can have your hands hovering or here. Um, a lot of the times what I used to do because I couldn't see or really even feel anything was I would just kind of, I would I would go like this. And sometimes I would feel like it's almost like you couldn't push your hands any closer. And sometimes it was like I was up here. I didn't know what it meant at all. Um, but it was like, Oh, cool. Today I feel like my hands are right here. Today I feel like they're here. Today I feel like they're here. So just kind of play with it. Play with the energy that you're attuned to this amazing energy that you get to play with now that can't do anything bad. You can't do anything bad with Reiki. It's universal life force energy. It's electricity. So, and the, the morphic field around Reiki is when you're tuning into this Reiki that you, you can't do anything bad with it. So even if you tried, you can't. You, you could do, you know, you can't use Reiki for anything bad. So anyways, sending energy through the third eye. So I would kind of, me, I kind of imagine my little spinning thing here. Mine's going super fast. But what I'm seeing is as I'm running Reiki through here, what's happening is it's stopping and it's starting to spin the other way. So what I'm doing is the Reiki is intelligent. It's balancing it. I'm also seeing that some of the Reiki is going in here, but some is also going into my right foot. So the coolest thing about Reiki is it's it's this high frequency energy. I look at it kind of like those scrubby bubbles on the commercial. They go in and scrub the toilet. <laughs> it's like with the way that this energy works, it's super high frequency energy, and it's going to go in and it's going to find the densest energy and transmute that. Then the next densest, and then the next densest. Your intention to keep the energy here is great. You're still going to have energy going in here, but some of the Reiki is going to break away and go heal other things that need healing, whether it's way out in your field, whether it's up in your higher self, whether it's down below the ground, whether it's in your emotional body, your mental body, your spiritual body. It's going to go where it needs to go because it's smart and there's physics um, and like science to back this stuff up. It's all um, math, frequency, stuff like that um, that I don't truly understand enough to explain it, but I understand it when I read it. So anyway, um, so first Second, these are each three minutes. And then the third, um, it's uncomfortable for me to do this because my hand starts to fall asleep, but you can either do this um, or this. The book shows this and um, it's sometimes comfortable, but sometimes it's just not comfortable for me. So you can do whatever way you want, but just start running energy into the throat for three minutes. And remember, you have your little timer going and it'll ding when it's time to change. Keep a little notepad next to you so if it's like, oh wow, I see, um, you know, I see a totem pole in here. What's a totem pole mean? I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna write it down. Totem pole throat. Um, okay, yeah, I'm seeing that my my um, I'm thinking of my grandma. Okay, thinking of grandma and throat. Um, okay, I'm thinking and really stressed out about work now. I have no idea why, but okay, stressed out about work. And then just go back and then just keep watching the energy come in here, out your hands, into your throat. And then when it dings, you go down to your heart. So the heart's right here. I kind of like to just kind of go like that. And again, just run the Reiki into your heart. You can use visualizations or you can just imagine, you know, you don't have to do anything. It's Reiki is like so, like, so easy. It's not even funny. Like you don't have to do anything at all. 